What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Guys, today, I, I want to talk about a stream that Kevin Samuels did the other night. Very masterful, of course. And I'm dealing with this topic called who is good enough for modern women. Now, there are certain themes in every Kevin Samuels stream that you're going to find out. Um, number one, there is great entitlement from women, especially black women in the black community and with regards to their attitudes towards black men. And number two, women have failed to really get a grasp of how men fundamentally work and think, how we synthesize ideas, especially black men who are our middle class or higher class, which is interesting because, you know, if you're a person and you want to go to a graduate school, um, the graduate school that you're trying to go to, they're going to have standards, right? There are certain things you have to do. There are certain exams you have to take and there are certain qualifications that you need to meet in order for you to achieve that particular grad school. Right. There are certain things at medical school, professional school, jobs, if you will. All right. Certain things you need to do to get into the NBA. And you, you wonder what I'm talking about, because in everything that somebody desires to be, there are certain standards you have to hit in order to achieve those. OK. Imagine somebody going into Harvard Law School and telling them, oh, you know what? doesn't matter what you required of a student it's not true you're gonna take me and this is what you get when black women call into Kevin Samuel's show so many times they don't understand that what they desire is not what they are so they're wasting their time arguing back and forth with Kevin Samuels about what men want, what, you know, what, who, what men really desire. And it's not them. And they, they have no idea what they're talking about. It's just like a C plus student trying to tell Harvard that he should take them. It doesn't make any sense, right? A person who averaged five points a game in high school telling the NBA, he's a first round draft pick. But in the stream, Kevin is talking to, he plays the old, uh, tape or old show. He's talking to this lady. Okay. There's a lady who uh, sounds very masculine, by the way, and she's a single mom. Okay. Kevin is trying to tell her that in so many words, you don't know what you're talking about, right? She's going back and forth with Kevin talking about you know, she's had guys propose to her and, you know, she has a child and it's not fair that, you know, Kevin should be telling girls or ladies that their value is going to be less for a high value guy. I mean, this is what she's saying. A, a, a woman who can't get a man, a woman who's calling Kevin Samuel's show. A woman who said, oh, I have two guys proposed to me, but you're not married because those guys are not high value. If they were, you would be married to them. She's arguing and trying to tell Kevin the position what high value guys want or what black men want. When honestly, she doesn't understand the consequences of her own behavior. She's argumentative. She's angry. She's defensive. She won't stop talking. She's annoying. She's everything that guys that have money hate. Okay, 
She's the she's she's the epitome of everything that a guy who's successful doesn't want to be around. You have a bad attitude. You're rude. You won't stop talking. You won't shut up. You have a kid by somebody else. Here you are trying to tell me what guys want. And these women just don't understand. They have no freaking idea about what they're talking about. Kevin, at some point in the stream, he, he, he asks her a question. He says, well, okay, what if your son, let, let's think about this. Your son's 35, becomes a successful attorney. Would you want him to come out with somebody else's children? Take care of them after he's worked hard for all of that. The woman starts going around the bush talking about, oh, well, she wouldn't care and all of this stuff. The, the, the reality of it is this. Sisters just don't understand high value black men. They don't. When they can't understand them, they will they will try to make, you know, a, a, a facade talking about they don't exist. But see, too often in the black community, women are trying to force men into being what they want. But the women don't want to put themselves in a position to be in the same vicinities as the guys they want. Oftentimes what you see is a delusion and entitlement where they want men, black men, to accept everything. Things that don't make any sense. I'm here to tell you, you know, for the few ladies that listen to me, for, for, for if you're here, for what it's worth. No guy wants to take care of your kids. Kevin even talks about this at some point. He says, your kids are important to you. They're not important to me. She had a problem with that. No, no, it's true. Okay. Those kids are your kids. You think the world of them. The average guy that, that you know, that is not going to live his life for your kids. You love your kid. That's great. But the average guy is not thinking about your children. That's not being mean saying that. See, every, see, 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 here's the situation is selfish. You know, people in the world, especially women, they want everybody to care about what they're going through. No, they don't, they don't give a damn about what other guys are going through, but it's about what they are going through. You know, look, why don't you see the world through my eyes? Why don't you see the world through my lens? And see what women are starting to understand and, and, and a lot of black menosphere content is is now there's consequences for your actions. See, see, guys knew that before. And as Kevin Samuels have said it, that you know you didn't hear a lot of guys really talking about it, except for a few of us in the sphere. But but the the numbers overwhelmingly prove that a lot of guys just don't have time. All right. And and what it is also is. You find out that you damned if you do, you damned if you don't. If you are a guy, think about this also. Not only are, are, are some of them delusional. If you're nine to five guy, you're not good enough. Okay. I talked about um a, 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 a Facebook page called "My Baby Daddy Ain't Shit." So he was good enough to get into your pants. You had a baby by him, but now he's not good to be your baby daddy. If he's educated too much, he's a lame. You know? If, if he's, you know, polite, he's too nice. You know? If he don't like you, he's conceited. He likes white women. He criticizes the black community and sister's behavior. His mama black. And I think a lot of guys can understand with certain sisters out there, not all, uh, the, the, you know, the, you, you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. And for a lot of dudes, it's like, look, I, outside of Kevin, let me just say this, right? I had a, a brother tell me that I should do a similar sort of show. Talking to women. Women only calls. Never. Wonder why? I just don't have time to argue with delusional people. I, I don't even need the money that much. Don't 
Seriously, like if I had a call on show and ladies called, I would just hang up on them. Because you're never going to get anywhere. Usually, you're just not. There is no, for me, there's no getting through to people who feel that the world should be solved from their vantage point. You call that being a bigot, okay? And that's what a lot of people are. And I'm just glad. Kevin's bringing some light to it. Guys, check out the first comment pinned in the top. You'll see the stream that he did. Uh, and and you, you just understand, like, a lot of these women just don't understand men. And and not only do they un don't understand men, they're not trying to. Okay? So, guys, subscribe at the bell. Check out the first comment pinned at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all-time high. The Patreon's there. I'm out.